Hey boys, welcome back to round 22, and we are missing a couple of players. Marian Seve actually is out, uh, what was he out for? I think he was, no, did he get suspended as well? I thought it was uh, injured, but maybe suspended, but uh, not a huge loss. He was he was sort of a fill-in anyway. We were keeping going for a little bit, because uh, Curtis Scott and Will Chambers come back into the fray. Uh, but Bran uh, yeah, Brandon Smith comes into the run on side with Cameron Smith missing a couple of weeks. I think it was only two matches, which uh, isn't the worst. There's Todd Carney back at uh, back at the Parramatta Eels. Uh, they do have a pretty strong pretty strong lineup. Uh, the old Parramatta side. It's uh, it's a matter of what night you get them on. Really, they can be. Uh, I mean, they're they're, <laughs> they're worse than any other club. They have to be worse than any other club in the comp right now in terms of up and down, surely. Because it's not even so much like, you know, I'm a Broncos fan and they've been just pretty much terrible the whole time. But they, they've had a couple of decent matches. And there's there's other clubs like, who else has been a bit up and down? I mean, maybe the Cowboys as well. They've been pretty terrible all year. But uh, that sort of example. But then the Eels... They've had they've had some absolutely shocking displays, but then their best footy is just it could beat anyone. So they have to be they're just so oh man, you would hate to follow them. Well, I don't know. <laughs> if I had the choice between the Broncos and the Eels right now, I'd probably I'd probably go with the Eels. Oh, the way they're the way the Bronx are, are tracking, but yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be tough. It'd be tough to support them. It's a beautiful play here. Drinkwater just absolutely bamboozling a couple of would-be defenders and uh, I think I've talked about this before but um you know making this video sort of a little bit after Drinkwater's debut for the Cowboys um and he uh yeah honestly all the promise and all the talk about him he looks like an absolute star <laughs> he looks real good um scored an absolutely brilliant try like I think he, he might have come up with like one error but honestly he looked very safe and very very dangerous so i think uh, it's a very good pickup for the cowboys and uh i mean honestly that cowboys dra i'm not going to talk too much about the game but uh the cowboys dragon game was a bit of bs because the cowboys would have won that game if morgan did not get taken high well no it wasn't a high shot but the shoulder hit his head and uh as a beautiful play drink water again just uh fantastic just straight through he's having an absolute absolute thriller here and uh out of car does not make a mistake but that th it pisses me off because Derek Sims shoulder hit his head I mean it no it knocked him out and like he he's probably gonna get suspended for it I don't know exactly he might get off I, I doubt it but it there's no <laughs> there's no compensation there like okay Derek Sims might miss uh, um he might miss one or two games, but that doesn't help the Cowboys. The Cowboys, the Cowboys. I mean, okay, you can't say they would have won because it's football. Anything can happen. Um, but I believe they they probably would have got over the line against the Dragons in that match if Morgan plays for the full match. Because I mean, they're pretty close without him. Um, and it's just, you know, it's it's a tough one. But. Um, Regardless, where we're back in the fray here, I'm not gonna. <laughs> don't wanna, don't wanna waste our video talking about one, one match. But uh, big shot coming in there. Thankfully, it, uh, it ricocheted out to Cameron Munster. But that is gonna be the half time. Pretty quick half of footy actually. Um, fairly even encounter, four two uh, to us as Cameron Munster can get absolutely belted. Um, but a huge gap left in the in the line there. Brandon Smith just takes off. That is something he is absolutely brilliant at. Just. Just, just going. It doesn't even have to be a quick play. The ball is right here. That is, it's poor stuff. Poor stuff. Shouldn't have thrown the pass, but also the guys around the ruck were just sort of lingering and and getting in the way. Is who was this? George Jennings almost gets to the line. Parpenhausen with a huge tackle, give away the penalty as well, which was a was a bit of a tactic there. I, th I thought they would level up, and we'll uh, we'll take that. We'll take the we'll take the two point deficit. Uh, get back to evens and hopefully <laughs> start uh, start performing a bit. We've we've been a bit uh, 
a bit loose in this game. I, I felt I felt good after the win last week, and I, I felt like in good form as again just hits the back of a play. Just the boys are just not gelling in this match. It's been an absolute uh, absolute shocker. Not a, not a good way, not, not a good game for people to watch on TV. Is <laughs> I'm gonna kick a field goal with Brody Croft to make it five four. <laughs> that is not a scoreline you would see too often. Um, with one one try being scored. 5-4, the score line. <laughs> Ridiculous, dude. But a brilliant kick here. Who was that? Cameron Munster with the left boot. Annoyingly, yeah. <laughs> I've talked about this before as well. The For some reason in this game, kicks downfield always seem to bounce on the end of the ball and bounce back up to the, def uh, the, yeah, the, the defending team. They never seem to kick on and roll on, which happens a lot in real life, obviously. As a brilliant play here, who is this? Brody Croft puts in a little grubber for himself. It wasn't a great kick, but he just sort of just sort of put his nose through the defensive line. Was uh, was dragging a couple of players, and then the late little offload. Brilliant stuff. And Curtis Scott, who I think uh, has he been out of? The I think Scott's been out of the team for a bit. I think I was just sort of. Trying a few different uh, combinations, um, but Seve being out for a few um, brings Curtis Scott straight back in. What was I talking about before? <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought. I was talking about the try, and then I was in the in the back of my mind. I was trying to remember what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> no idea, but drink uh, drink water again. Just absolutely brilliant. Um, just getting through defenders. That little inside play has worked an absolute treat in this game. Um, I think I was talking a little bit about sort of our performance. Oh, Chambers, he was straight through. Just one pass too many. Uh, but yeah, coming back from last week, we felt I felt in good form. Like I, I thought we could probably throw it around a bit more in this game. But yeah, just not really... Not really doing the hard work, you know, old cliche in real real life footy, but not really gaining the ground early with the forwards. And then you gotta, you know, you can play attacking in this game, but you do have to play attacking on the back of, you know, getting getting through the line or you know half getting through the line, quick play the balls, you know, pretty much like I mean, it's a good little thing for real life. Is Ado Car gets through, a little chip and chase, but he's gonna get wrapped up. So we do get the win, 11-4. At the end, it's a it's a fairly comfortable score, but we could have scored a few more. It was a bit of a bit of a bludger of a match, uh, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.